Hi guys, it's Hayes from the Install Bay. We're going to look at high level to low level adapters and why you might want to spend a little bit more and get a better one. So stay tuned. Okay, so what we have is we have a audio control LC2i, a generic line output converter, and a pack audio LP7-2. Here's our distortion detector, here's our RTAs, here's our factory radio. Now what we want to do first is set the radio's volume output uh, to the point of clipping so that we have an equal uh, footing for all our radios to test them from. So we'll go ahead and set up our track here. We're playing 40 hertz at 0 dB. Go ahead and turn this on. Now we'll go ahead and start turning this thing up. All right, so we have clipping. Go ahead and turn it down to uh, we found that negative two on this radio just works best. Uh, negative two from clipping. Now we'll go to the output of the LC. We still have no clipping. We'll notice over here the maximize light is on, um, but the unit's not clipping, so I think we're okay there. And then we'll go to our generic. Generic immediately goes into clip. Now even if the volume was all the way down, it's still gonna distort. So we'll just go ahead and there was no way to get that out of there. So right off the bat, we know that this is going to induce noise that we don't want. Now more than likely we'll be able to actively cross that out, but still it's, it's creating noise that just isn't there. Um, hence distortion. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the outputs of these guys and see what, what's going on. Now a couple things about these. The audio control and the pack piece both have remote turn on generation. So what they'll do is they'll use the signal output or signal input from the radio to generate a remote turn on out to your amplifiers, which is really nice in a new car because a lot of the new cars, they just don't have an accessory you can tap. So these two guys here will generate one for you, whereas the entry level one won't. Um, so let's go ahead and we'll take a look at what the RTA is, is showing us the output of the audio control versus the output of the generic. Okay, so what we're looking at here is the output of the LC2i. It has 6.9 volts of output. We're looking at the output of the entry level. As you'll notice, the signal is 1.8 volts, so you're getting substantially less output, but all this other stuff here, this is where that clip is coming from. None of this should be here, as you can see on this guy here. Now let's go ahead and swap the generic for the pack audio. As you can see now with the pack audio, you get a nice clean signal output. You don't have the output voltage, well, you know, that's okay, that you do on the audio control, but you're getting no noise, so you have a nice clean output. So the LC, I'm sorry, the LP, LP72 will be a nice alternative, you know, an upgrade from the generic one. So I hope what we've shown here is that you may want to spend a little bit extra money and get the better high level to low level. Uh, we had two good examples of really nice line level outputs. Uh, the, the pack audio, which gives you a nice clean uh, signal output to the amplifier. No clipping, no induced noise. And then you have the audio control, which of course would be the creme de la creme. Now keep in mind, the audio control is probably about four times the amount of money as the pack audio piece. So we're not comparing apples with apples. Uh, what we're doing is we're just comparing why you may want to spend that extra, I don't know, 60, 70 bucks to go up to the audio control over the pack. If you don't have it though, at least get the pack as opposed to the generic line output converter, which is, you know, well, it sucks. Okay, we'll just call it what it is. Um, all right, guys. Well, we hope this was helpful. Uh, you know, if it wasn't, let us know, of course. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Otherwise, you guys can find us on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. We appreciate everything you guys do for us. So if you like it, subscribe. That helps us out. Um, otherwise, you guys have a great night. We'll see you later next time. Bye. <laughs> it's Egyptian, I swear. Yeah. Not made in Egypt, but it's Egyptian. Whatever. Anyways. You know, those triangle-shaped things.